Nerd Wizards. Today, we're going to take our vocab game ooh, to the next level with 10 advanced words. Don't worry, we'll also give you synonyms for each word to make it easier for you to remember and use them in your everyday conversations. First up, we have abroad. This word means a place or location that is outside of your own country. For example, Amanda is studying abroad in Spain this semester. Hmm. Have you ever dreamed of travelling to another country? What are some places you would like to visit and explore? Tell me in the comments. I'm excited to visit, well, Budapest. Do tell me which country it belongs to. Alright. Some other words that mean the same thing as abroad are overseas and international. Next, we have prosper. This means to thrive or be successful, usually in terms of financial well-being. For example, the new business is expected to prosper in the coming year. Some other words that mean the same thing as prosper are flourish and thrive. Now, let's talk about euphoria. This word means a feeling of intense happiness or excitement. For example, after winning the championship game, the team was filled with euphoria. Can you think of a time when you felt euphoric? Like you were on top of the world? Some other words that mean the same thing as euphoria are bliss and elation. Moving on to inquisitive. This word means curious or inquiring, tending to ask a lot of questions. For example, the inquisitive child kept asking about the strange object he found in the woods. Are you an inquisitive person? Do you like to ask questions and learn new things? Well, then yes, you are inquisitive. Some other words that mean the same thing as inquisitive are curious and interested. Next up is eminent. This word means famous and respected within a particular sphere or profession. For example, the eminent scientist was awarded the Nobel Prize for his groundbreaking research. Can you think of an eminent person that you look up to? One of the eminent people I admire is Rabindranath Tagore. Some other words that mean the same thing as eminent are prominent and distinguished. Now, let's talk about global. This word means relating to the whole world, worldwide in scope or extent. For example, the company was a global presence with offices in every continent. Can you think of something that has a global impact? One thing that I can think of is climate change. Some other words that mean the same thing as global are worldwide and international. Moving on to discreet. This word means being careful in one's speech or actions in order to avoid causing offense or attracting attention. For example, the waiter was discreet in handling the complaint from the dissatisfied customer. Can you think of a time when you had to be discreet? Like keeping someone secret. Some other words that mean the same thing as discreet are cautious and tactful. Now, let's talk about inevitable. This word means certain to happen, unavoidable. For example, the closure of the factory was inevitable due to the decline in demand for their products. Can you think of something that is inevitable? One thing I can think of is the sun rising every day. It has to happen. Some other words that mean the same thing as inevitable are unavoidable and inescapable. Moving on to accomplish. 
This word means to successfully complete a task or a goal. For example, she was determined to accomplish her goal of running a marathon. Can you think of something you accomplished recently? Like finishing a book or a project? Some other words that mean the same thing as accomplish are achieve and fulfill. And finally, we have curtail. This word means to reduce or limit something. For example, with all the snow, our daily walks have been severely curtailed. Now, can you think of a time when you had to curtail something? Like your TV time? Some other words that mean the same thing as curtail are restrict and decrease. So, there you have it. 10 advanced vocabulary words to add to your vocab. Remember, the more words you know, the more power you have to express yourself and understand the world around you. So, keep on learning and growing and do answer all the questions I asked you in the comments. I will see you next time. Let me get back to my book now.